Oh, you know, just taking my daily scroll of the Reddit. Oh, look, Hyperland. People have got some really ugly desktops over here. You got, ugh, like, what is this? What is that, GNOME? People still use GNOME? There you go, DWM, that one's cool. GNOME again. Oh, yeah, Docs, because, you know, Apple's great. That's all I think about when I see a Doc is Apple. Plasma. Oh, man. Uh, oh, look, there's Hyperland. There's one. <laughs> there's another Hyperland. <laughs> More Hyperland. <laughs> this is brutal. Dude, wait. I think I seen one earlier. Wait. Oh, goodness. This one. Ugh. We got a light mode deviant over here. Look how ugly this thing is. Holy hell. Oh my god. Like, people stare at this for hours. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? <laughs> Yo, what is up, my dudes? Today, we got a new video. Oh, wait. I don't have the sound. Uh, hold on. Uh... Okay, there we go. We got the sound. So... In this video, we're going to be talking about a newish, newer, new, well, it's pretty new, Wayland Compositor. Uh, one that I think people that are probably, it's going to get a lot of hype, like Hyperland did, because it's, it's pretty good. You know, it's pretty damn good. Uh, so, it's called Mau Mau, WM. Um, it's like one of the people who contributed to Glaze WM that does this, I believe. Uh... I was just kind of like looking at that page. If you go right here, you know, they, they do some stuff. They do some things. It looks like right here, they started really cranking out a lot of work and it seems to all be on Mau Mau. So I saw this on uh, that Reddit page that everybody goes to. And I was like, yo, um, yeah, the, these animations look good. You know what I mean? Um, you know, pretty fancy schmancy. I think this rice is horrifically ugly, but uh, to each their own, you know, someone wants a little cartoony setup, go for it, you know? That's how I kind of look at it. I like, think it's not bad. It obviously shows some sort of skill, you know? Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, this project is developed and based on DWL. Ooh, that's a controversial one. It is basically compatible with all DWM features. In addition, it has added many operations that are supported in Hyperland, such as smooth and customizable animation, external configuration that cannot be overloaded, pin mode that can be hot overloaded. I don't, I don't know what that means. Uh, pin mode, maximize window, etc. Uh, the maximize window is cool. I like it because, like, okay, so like your navigation. I'll just go over the navigation real quick. I was very impressed by this because it keeps all of your uh fingers on like what is it like eight keys or whatever so the directional keys you know the arrows right and then shift control super and all right so for instance uh let me go into a different mode um super n would to be changed layout like this is a grid layout situation um yeah pretty cool um uh, super shift and the arrows moves the windows around, right? But we'll go to like a, a cooler configuration. All right, so let's say we use dwindle, right? Um, you know, uh, left and right super is switching your tags, right? Or your workspaces, but tags work a little different than workspaces, right? So now that I'm on a new tag, right? I can uh, open up this and then we can switch modes and I can actually go into scrolling mode. Which, if you haven't used scrolling mode before, it's, like, uh, super based. Um, I'll kind of run down. This is just a brief glancery over thing. Like, this thing isn't super, super old. And there's still kind of some buggy stuff I've run into. Uh, I've had the WL clipboard, like, not work correctly with it. And then I can't copy and paste anything. And then when I go into my processes, there is a bunch of WL clipboard or WL paste. And um, my uh, CPU usage is, like, through the roof, right? Um, and then I have to kill processes and whatever. It, it's still got a, a couple hiccups with it. 
that I've noticed, but overall it is super based. It's super based. Okay, so the config, right? Config.conf. Um, this config is mad simple. It's very, very simple. I like the layout of it. Um, there's a couple of things. Uh, actually, I should open up that. Let me just... Uh, when you go to set your keybinds and stuff, keep this one thing in mind. Uh, it's down here somewhere. Keybinds notice. All mod keys, all control, shift, super are case sensitive, right? In addition, the other key names are case sensitive. So like if you if you're holding down control shift, whatever you press is going to be different than just like U or A or W, right? It's going to be like something. So you have to use the Zev command. Anyway, I don't cord a lot, so like this doesn't affect me a ton. But yeah, it's there, and and you could even just work your keybinds around it. Uh, it's just basically if you use two keys, that third key is not going to be just like uh, what you would normally think it would be. Anyway, there's that. I I guess that's a good thing that I should probably put in the video to say. Um, but yeah, so uh, where is this? Okay, super simple uh, layout. I mean the. If you can't figure, if you've used other things like Hyperland and i3, and like this is this is very straightforward. I mean, you're not gonna mess it up too much. Now, as you notice, there's none of the startup application stuff in here because Mau Mau uh, uses like an auto start. Uh, let me do a auto start .sh right here. So and yeah, so this is basically all the things like if you need to set certain environment variables or you know you want to start up dunst and and sway bg and sww waybar you know this is where all your startup stuff is it, it, it's actually i do like having those two separate i know in the past i've said things where like i like everything in one config but having your startup separate from like the actual settings i i do like that so there's this, oh yeah, another thing I should, we're just going to add this in because it just did it in scrolling mode. I know you probably can't see my mouse because uh, the way the thing's working, but it has hot edges so you can scroll through stuff very fast. But like in reality, that's not how I use it. I'm going to be alt tabbing. And one thing I should say about alt tabbing is uh, you see this uh, overview settings. I think this is this one yeah right here ov tab mode this is going to be at one and what it does is basically when you hold it like this uh you know you can alt through or whatever but if you let go you see how mine uh went back to normal if you let go it'll stay open so if you have it set to uh what you call it zero right it just makes it so once i let go so I can be like, tab, 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 oh, I want to be on this one, tab, 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 oh, I want to be on this one, tab, 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 you know. So that makes it like a, a lot simpler. Let me, uh, let me close all this shit. Let me do that. Yeah. Um, what else? Down at the bottom, I've added some stuff in because I needed it. Uh, this is the wrong config. Why am I looking at this? Uh, I, I went into the same wrong config again. Yeah. So we go down to the bottom. I just kind of added like stuff that I use. So like, for instance, you know, opening up Go uh, Ghosty with Yazi, um, you know, my Altar. And then, you know, I have my little file browser, file manager, uh, the scripts find and edit thing. This is actually, I, I'll talk about this real quick, even though it's like unrelated. Uh, yeah, I did uh, this script. So it basically just sets the theme for fcf and then it does this search command that's piped into helix and yeah it just makes it real simple and then so on super one i have it set up so it just pops up so then i can be like oh i want to go look at my uh bash rc why not right and then bang got it just make it a little a little simpler a little quicker um yeah but overall like i've been using this a couple days like i said i've noticed a couple of uh a couple faux pas, if you will, with uh, some things being glitchy. I know X Whalen is kind of like weird. Uh, I was using Thunar. Let's see if it crashes. 
Thunar was crashing on me, and I couldn't, I did not know why, but once I switched to PC Man FM, um, everything went smooth and was good. So I would probably recommend using this one over Thunar in, in this scenario. Yeah. And the, the layouts are great, you know? You got, you know, your little dwindly. It's very cool. I'm I'm a big fan of Master and Stack. I use this, and then I use the scrolling layout. Because the scrolling layout is just like... I'll give you a good example of how it's good, is when I'm working on the config, for instance, for this... Actually, let's... Uh, uh, All right, so let's say uh, I want to open up. I've got my config right here. We're going to look at auto, uh, auto start.sh, right? And then um, we'll go again. We'll be like config.razzy. Right, maybe not put a comma in there. Razzy. Ah, I did it a second time, dude. <laughs> and then, you know, so on and so forth. I could basically. Uh, open up all of my stuff and then I can look at the whole entire config at once, which is like really great. Um, and then, you know, alt, I'm just like going back and forth. And then if I need like a page open for like documentation, right, you know, I'll have this open and you know, you could just go scroll back and forth and yeah. And you use the mouse too, or, you know, tab selection. It's very sweet. It's very fun. It's very cool. Uh, I'm not going to be posting my DAW files for this because I don't have it fully set up yet. I'm probably like 80% of the way set up. Um, I still want to do some work on the bar. I, I haven't figured out a good solution for showing like tags and like windows that are open in tags and like really, uh, you know, like, you know how you would normally have your workspaces and stuff. Like I haven't figured out a good way to display that yet. So that that's something that'll probably come in the future I'll, I'll revisit this uh yeah so i hope you enjoyed the video uh i hope you guys are having a good day a good week i also got another whole video recorded that i just haven't decided if i'm going to upload yet talking about hybrid bar that i've been using with hyperland so yeah uh, that'll probably happen. I might just re-record it and talk about it in a little bit different way than i did i kind of glazed it and then um i don't know it just, I feel like I should put a little bit of my uh, constructive criticism into, like, a couple things that I noticed with it. Anyways, if you like the video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, uh, you know, do all the things. I'm going to have links to the Discord and all that where we all hang out and talk about nerdy stuff like this. I will check you guys later. Peace out, my dudes.